Last one for me I want to talk about today is the popularity of the Madden game. I mean, it just gets bigger and bigger. I remember when the internet really began to proliferate, people are like, oh, internet's going to kill gaming. No, nope. now they just go on and play the game online with their friends. It's made it bigger. And when John Madden died, a lot of people said, oh, man, you know, maybe we'll lose some speed now. Nope, it's gotten bigger and bigger. I mean, when you look at the Madden game, I'm sorry, I don't think the NFL appreciates, I'm not, I don't mean fans, I mean the league. How the Madden game, just like I don't think they appreciate, I think they do now, but they didn't appreciate fantasy football at first. I don't think that they, uh, again, I think they do now appreciate fantasy football. I don't think they did in the past. I still don't think they give it enough respect to Madden game for how that just appeals and has made football even bigger. Your thoughts on that? Probably not because the guys that own the teams and run the teams are probably a little too old to have felt that impact. So when you're talking about the Madden franchise, you're probably talking about a real big impact on people below about 45 and below. Uh, for a lot of folks, this is their primary source of NFL consumption, if you will. There are kids and folks out there that play the game a lot more than they watch it. So I think yeah. we'll see the appreciation for that come when we start to see owners who have grown up with it, who maybe started their NFL fandom playing Madden on something called a Super Nintendo in the mid or late 90s. So, or Tech Mobile. Yeah, and that was, a, of course, a, a precursor. Uh, the Madden thing is, is unreal. The internet is tremendous. It's not my world. I'm not a gamer, but You're not either. you can play somebody across the country. You can play somebody in Hawaii. Um, who knows? Maybe there'll be a Super Bowl in Hawaii by the end of the decade, and there'll be a, a Madden competition as part of the week's events. I don't think the ownerships can quite appreciate it because it's probably a little – It's it's not what they experienced, but as soon as we get a couple of owners who have grown up with it and played it and listen, that will happen at some point, that's probably going to be when you see a flood of attention and media and press saying, Hey, this thing is way bigger than we thought. It absolutely served to grow the NFL from a player standpoint. You get to do stuff in those video games that you can't do. Obviously you can't go run around and tackle anybody in real life. And most people, you know, I don't know how easy it would be to get up if they tackled somebody and who are they going to tackle, et cetera. So there's a great fun fantasy part. And also who doesn't want to be running around, you know, uh, on a screen there, you get a kick out of it. Oh my gosh, I'm Tim Brown and you know, 1988 or I'm Marcus Allen. There's plenty of stuff to enjoy and it does expand a fan base and it has probably had a much bigger impact as you'd say. I think you're right about this one. It's probably had a bigger impact on NFL popularity in the last two decades than is appreciated at this time. Pretty fascinating stuff. John, each and every week, man, we go around the NFL. We dig in on a lot of great issues. It's good to talk to you. Thanks for joining us on this week's Sports Illustrated Fan Nation, Las Vegas Raiders Insider Podcast, part of the Fans First Sports Network. Thanks for joining us, Johnny.